All right. Welcome. Let's take a look at four interesting fruits that I've never tried before. The mame sapote, the red tamarillo, the mangosteen, and the cacao fruit. Three of these are tropical, and one is from the Andes. First fruit that we're going to look at is related to lucuma and canistel, and more distantly related to persimmons, kiwis, and blueberries. The fruit I'm talking about is the mame sapote. It's a tropical fruit native to Mexico and Central America. It's often grown in Mexico, Florida, and the Caribbean, as well as many other places. They grow from a tree and are in a group of fruits colloquially called egg fruits. I have what I believe to be two different varieties. So here's a large one and a small one right next to each other. The mame sapote, large and small. I bought a mame from a Mexican market a while back that was very hard and it never ripened. It didn't soften much and when I opened it up it was bruised and gray in the inside. It split open like breaking an avocado pit in half. I'm a bit worried because the last one I opened was both unripened and spoiled at the same time. Hey, 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 let's see if this is any good. Moment of truth. Oh, that looks good. Thank God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Here's the pit. So I gave it a taste, and the flavor was very familiar. It tastes like a concentrated persimmon flavor, like dried persimmon. Very sweet, no tartness. The texture was very soft, like an overripe avocado. And now, the little guy. The little one, on the other hand, tasted quite different. A bit grainy, and had like a pear texture to it and interestingly also had a bit of a pear flavor to it. It didn't taste spoiled, but it seemed like it was overripe. And the color was not as vibrant, more of a grayish color. Similar to the one that I had that was spoiled a while back, that was underripe and spoiled, that had, I mean, it was so bad that I didn't even taste it. Both of these sapotes were not tart at all. I've seen descriptions of the flavor of mame sapote that include persimmon, sweet potato, sweet potato pie, pumpkin, pumpkin pie, brown sugar, honey, prune, peach, apricot, cantaloupe, cherry, almond, maple syrup, bran muffin, and apple. But the only two tastes that I tasted were the sweet potato and the persimmon flavor. So like a sweet potato pie and persimmon. And the persimmon was the overwhelming flavor that I got. When ripe, the mame sapote is often orange, salmon, or reddish inside, and is soft to the touch like an overripe avocado. That's how you know it's ripe. When you open it up, it'll be soft, creamy, like pudding or cooked sweet potato. The skin has a consistency that's very similar to sandpaper. This fruit can be used to make milkshakes, pies, cakes, marmalade, and fruit bars, among other things. It can also be fried. The oil pressed out of the large seed can be used for various things as well. There are many sapotes, and this type is unrelated to the black sapote or the white sapote. The flowers on the mame tree are reminiscent of some of their more showy relatives azaleas, rhododendrons, and camellias. The next fruit is from the tomato, potato, eggplant, and pepper family, Solanaceae, or the nightshade family. The red tamarillo. This tomato-like or pepino melon-like fruit is native to the Andes, Ecuador, Colombia, Peru, Chile, and Argentina. 
They grow from a tree-like shrub and resemble something in between a pepper and a tomato. This one tasted like a tropical, flavorful tomato. Not a commercial, tasteless tomato from a fast food chain or grocery store, but a real garden harvested, ripe, tasty tomato. It was a mix between tomato and passion fruit. And it's more acidic than most tomatoes with more bite. But there are definitely those tropical passion fruit undertones there. I was really surprised how much I liked this one. You eat the inside and generally avoid eating the bitter skin. Cut it in half and scoop out the interior with a spoon. It's also called a tree tomato or blood fruit, among other names. It's great for chutneys, compotes, curries, making juice, spread on toast, or even roasted. I imagine this would do great to liven up a fish dinner, similar to how you could use a lemon or some quality tomatoes. Yeah, I was really surprised how much I like this one. And since it isn't tropical, I'm curious if I can grow it in my area. This next one is an interesting fruit from a group of plants called Garcinias. And it's somewhat related to lychee. The mangosteen. Despite the name, it's not related to mangoes. I mean, everything is related to each other, but you know what I mean. Mangosteens are native to tropical Southeast Asia and they grow from a tree. I looked them up online and they don't look normally like this. This one looks like it's been through a lot. It's seen a lot, it's been around the block. If this mangosteen could talk, it'd have a lot of stories to tell. Supposedly the mangosteen is very sweet and tastes like pineapple and peaches. It's slightly acidic and can even have caramel, butter, and grass-like aromas. But the one I bought looked very much past its prime, to say the least, and tasted more like a spoiled grape than anything else. Ideally, mangosteens are very sweet and tangy inside. The rind is inedible, and an extract from the rind can actually be used as a fabric dye. Inside, the edible sweet part comes in these little white pieces. And they tasted all right, but they were very much overripe. The seeds look like this. Da, 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 da. Finally, last but far from least, we have the fruit of a chocolate bean plant, aka cacao fruit. You eat the pulp that surrounds the chocolate beans. Cacao is native to the northern tropical regions of South America, specifically the Amazon rainforest. Also, perhaps parts of Central America as well. But chocolate, that's eaten everywhere, all the time, whenever possible, by anyone. Like the other fruit, cacao pods grow on a tree. Fresh cacao. So the pulp of the cacao pod is supposed to have a fruit flavor. It's been compared to lychee and has some citrus and mango flavors, and sometimes even pineapple. It's sweet and tart. The cacao I bought was underripe and tasted like melon rind. The flesh around the seed is the fruity part, and that's the part that tasted like the melon rind. The pith part between the seeds was more astringent, and that was probably because it was underripe, or maybe you're just not supposed to eat that part, I don't know. I'm unsure if the flesh has any stimulant effect, like caffeine or theobromine would, but maybe not, or not much, because there wasn't any bitterness to it. The cacao beans are inside, and you can see them here but they need to be fermented and roasted to make chocolate. The beans in the cacao pot I had weren't fully formed and kind of crumbled. I tasted them, but they didn't taste like much. Though I have to say, this is a beautiful fruit. So after tasting all four of these fruits, I would say the mame sapote and the red tamarillo were delicious and ripe, and I really enjoyed them. The mangosteen was a bummer, and the cacao fruit was also a bit of a bummer for opposite reasons, 
since the mangosteen was overripe and the cacao was underripe. And the little sapote was somewhere in between. It was all right. I froze the mame sapote and I hope to use it in the future. And the red tamarillo, I'll probably find a good use for that as well. All right, thank you for watching. If you like this kind of video, let me know and maybe I'll make some more. Thanks again. If this mangosteen could talk, it'd have a lot of stories to tell.